Where is your hard-earned money going? If you are watching this video, if you have found this video, then there's a high likelihood that you're a trader and you are either right now in the very process of uh, spending some of your hard-earned money on some tool, some subscription program, some educational approach to help you improve your trading, or you've already done that in the past or you're considering doing that. But that's generally the path that we all take. And one of the things I guess that I just want to share with you message-wise in this video is that to a large extent and degree, the value that you get out of spending your hard-earned money on some type of trading program is not largely dependent on the quality of that program. It is dependent on you and what type of program you are looking for. So I guess my message to you in this video is make sure, be very clear on what type of program, education, system, software, training, it is that you are looking for. If you can pair up what it is that you're desiring, you'll have a lot better end result. And what I mean by that is I see so many people throwing their money just down a black hole because the program that they paid good money for, it's a good program. It's not what they were looking for. So let's just talk about what's out there and maybe what's uh, what some of the distinctions are. The number one category for individuals out there today that get people to pay them money are the gurus. Uh, it is the number one fastest way to get money to pay you uh, uh, any of their profits in the world today on social media. Become a guru of some kind. Become a trading guru. Show yourself in a Lamborghini, show yourself on a private jet, and immediately you gain credibility. Uh, I rem I've been at this for a long time, guys. I've been trading for a long time. Uh, the first guru that I ever ran across was in, I believe, 1987. Uh, it might have been uh, 1988, but it was in that range, 1987, 1988, by a guy named G uh, Charles J. Givens. He wrote a, what I still think was a great book called The Courage to Be Wealthy. And um, uh, I went to the program. It was in a, a high school auditorium. I sat down there. Uh, this was the 80s, remember? So there was a slideshow. And they started clicking slides. And for 40 minutes, all they did was click slide after slide after slide. And it was a slide of Charles J. Givens with his arm around President Reagan. It was Charles J. Givens walking out of the front doors of his beautiful mansion. Uh, Charles J. Givens stepping out of the doors of his very long, stretched limousine. Charles Givens, who was a middle-aged man... Uh, sitting in a hot tub with two 20-year-old buxom women in bikinis. Uh, Charles J. Givens uh, standing in front of stacks of money. This just went on and on and on and on. In the end of 30 or 40 minutes, the slideshow ceased. Charles J. Givens walked onto the stage. He pointed up at that picture of him with all of his money, and he said, I have a question for you. How many of you want what I have. And the hands went up and all he said was pull out your credit card, walk to the back of the room, we'll get you signed up. And there was a stampede to the back of the room. People fighting over each other to give their money to the guru. There's a lot of gurus out there today, folks, that are as famous as movie stars. People will pay money just to get next to these gurus. If that's what you want, that's easy to find. Gurus are easy to find. The next category are educators. Now listen, I don't bemoan this category. I know the saying, and we all know the saying, that those that can do, those that can't teach, 
I don't know that that's necessarily true. There are wonderful educators in the world, and we can't do anything if we are not educated. But I do remember my experience with my college finance professor. This was a guy that, in my estimation, was 110 years old. Now, I was still in my teens. I was 19 years old, so who knows what I knew at that time. Uh, but he was old. He was old. He was tenured. He'd be, been at the university for decades and decades and decades, it seemed like to me. Really, really smart. Knew everything about finance and investment. And I asked him one day when we were talking about investment philosophies, I said, man, you know, you've been at this for so long, you must absolutely be loaded, right? You must be wealthy beyond imagine." And he looked at me and he laughed and he said, son, I am a college professor. I am a school teacher. How on earth do you think I could have any money to my name? Right? And even at that young age, I knew that there was uh, something wrong there with uh, the idea that education alone can make us wealthy. Education is just information, guys. It's just information. So many people have spent so much money on education that is wonderful but it never ends up actually putting any money in their pockets. And so if you're just looking for theory, if you're just looking for ideas, if you're just looking for education, and if you're looking for information, then education is a great place to go. There's all kinds of places all over YouTube, all over the internet that you can go get education on any aspect of investing that you desire. It'll fill your brain, may not necessarily fill your pocketbook. The next category of people out there that want your hard-earned dollars are what we call affectionately marketers. Uh, they're basically salesmen. Guys, they're just selling a product. Now, the product that they happen to be selling happens to be financial programs, financial packages. Uh, educational information with regards to investing. But let's be very clear, these are not investing experts, these are marketers, they are salesmen. They could just as easily be selling toothpaste as investment education. That just happens to be their product du jour. So be aware when you're looking for follow-up and help and customer service and hand-holding, that person doesn't know what it is that you even bought from them. They're just packaging products, reselling them to individuals. So be on the lookout for just someone that is a marketer of products or a salesman. The last category is the category that I believe I fit in. And those are real traders. Those are actual traders, people that have walked the walk and talked the talk. Ask these individuals that you are paying money to did you ever attend an open outcry session? Were you ever on the floor of the CBOE? Were you on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange? Did you trade on Wall Street? Do you have any investment licenses or experiences? Were you S Series 7 licensed? Were you an RIA? Were you a registered investment advisor? Did you have any certifications or qualifications? Have you managed other people's money? What experiences do you have as a trader? Do you do over a thousand trades a year in your own account? And do you have any documentation on those trades? So guys, here's the thing uh, with me. I thought that these were just givens, but it turns out that they're not. This is what makes me different. I use a real broker. Okay, all of the trades that I show you are not in a virtual trading account. They are in a real brokerage account. Be careful, guys. There are so many posts going up on Instagram and other social media sources today showing how much money they made today, how much money they made this year, how many millions of dollars is in their account. And if you know what to look for, if you can look in the right places, if they haven't uh, erased them, you'll see those are virtual trading accounts. Those are not real brokers. Those are paper trade accounts. They are virtual trading accounts. I use a real broker to trade in. I use my own cash. 
So I've seen instances where people are using real brokers and they are trading real cash only to find out later that the company that they were promoting or the product that they were promoting was the place where the cash came from. It wasn't their cash. They weren't putting their hard earned cash on the line. Guys, whether I am trading a thousand dollars or a million dollars, it's my money. I earned it. No one gave it to me. So I am trading my own family's money, my hard earned cash. Okay. Uh, number three, they're real trades. They are completely unedited. Every one of my trades is time stamped. And so you can see very clearly if we skip a trade a lot. And again, not calling anybody out, but you'll see instances where you will see a buy order, but you don't ever see the sell order. And they start skipping trades and you can't really tell if there was a profit or a loss there. Guys, all of my trades are completely unedited. They are all time stamped. You can see from the start of the day to the end of the day, from A to Z, the inception trade to the closing trade. Everything that happens in between. Number four, I show full transparency. Uh, I don't skip any of our dates. In our live zero date expiration trading system, we record our results in that trading room every single day. There is not uh, a window where there's a three day gap and a five day gap and a six day gap and a seven day gap. There's no windows of saying, look how much we made in the last four days, seven days, 14 days. And we're skipping around other dates to try to hide bad results. So you, there's full entire transparency inside of our trading system in terms of what the results look like. They are real world results. Guys, good, bad, or indifferent, and we have losing trades. I and the, the first thing out of my mouth is almost always, guys, there are no perfect systems. We are going to have losing trades. In fact, if someone tells you they have a perfect system, that's the first sign that you want to shake their hand nicely and run away quickly because that's just not how trading works. So our trades, whether they're good, bad, or indifferent, we show them all. We show them all, okay? And then, guys, last but not least, um, I find myself, I judge myself solely on my profits or losses. That's it. That is my bottom line. It's interesting to me how far afield conversations can go about how smart, intelligent, great, wonderful XYZ trader is. And it's not based on how much money they make. It's just based on whatever, some other completely off topic issue to me. Because to me, as a trader, I am judged solely on my profits and losses. Look, I, I sat on a panel not too long ago uh, that everybody on that panel was referred to as experts. I don't know how I got on that panel. There were people on there with PhDs. You see uh, Jim Rickards uh, worked for the CIA, one of the sharpest minds in the world on global macroeconomic issues and the functionality of gold in our society. Timothy Sykes, one of the best traders out there in the world. You guys all know Robert Kiyosaki. He is the number one best-selling financial author in the world. Grant Cardone. Uh, perennially named the number one influencer, number one marketer on uh, social media today, manages several billion dollars of investment properties. Kim Kiyosaki, I think she's okay, and Robert is both okay with me saying this. I think Kim is sharper than Robert. She is as smart as a tack. She's ridiculously intelligent. Nomi Prims has a pedigree that is second to none. John Nigerian, you guys know Dr. J. Uh, it just goes on and on and on. George Gilder, the, basically the inventor of uh, uh, artificial intelligence. If you've ever used Google, and Google has already filled out an answer for you, this guy invented that, right? I'm on a stage with these guys, and I can't hold a candle to any of them, but I have a better investment track record than most of them, okay? So if you want to talk more about modern portfolio theory, I'm not your guy. If you want to talk efficient market philosophies, 
I am not your guy. If you want to talk about how the IMF interacts with the Federal Reserve, if you want to talk about the devaluation of the U.S. dollar, guys, I'm not your guy. I'm just a trader. And that's all I do. I trade and I trade with full transparency and we've been having really, really good results. So again, it doesn't necessarily matter if you're going with a guru, if you're going with a, a, a sole educator, if you're going with a marketing company, if you're going with an actual trader, just make sure you know who it is you're giving your hard earned money to.